very, very excited to talk to this lady right now. I am, I am, and I'm saying this lady like you're not with me, like in, in right, right here talking with me, like live person ish in the Zoom world. So uh, I'm very excited to talk to you because uh, everything that I'm covering lately has been has been Hassy oriented. There's a lot of stuff happening. I talked to, of course, uh, we're talking Max Reload, but then I talked to Tacoma. I talked to Steve and Kevin recently, and I'm doing Yellowstone stuff too. So. You're touching all these different areas. And for some reason, I don't know why, every character's name starts with an L, too. I don't know if you've noticed that as well, too. I, but- I seem to have good luck with characters. Like, when I see that, like, when the audition comes in, I'm like, woo, we've got an L. <laughs> right. You got, a, you got a Lucy, you got a Laramie, you got a Liz, and then, uh, was it Lila <laughs> is coming up, too. So, yeah. there's... Yeah, it's it's all going good for you. Maybe I should be in the in the writer from now on. My characters can only be starting with an L, and that's the only way I'll show up. <laughs> pull, pull, pull that rank a little bit uh so first and foremost let's talk about this movie right now this is a very very fun movie uh and i'm somebody who loves as you can tell the retro 8-bit pixelated kind of game stuff um so how much uh how much of a history of video games do you have yourself i mean did you get into regular nintendo or was it like playstation or family members or how that all work out yeah, I was I was real big into Nintendo 64. That's that was that was probably where I peaked with a little like 007 GoldenEye, Diddy yeah. Kong Racing, <laughs> some snowboard ones. So let's talk about this movie right now. What is it about this movie? And it just seemed like it was a lot of fun to make. I mean, uh, what was it like for you? The first day on set, like what was your expectations when you got into Max Reload? in the Nether Blasters? Well, I think, um, you know, as soon as I read the script, I could feel how much passion and heart was written into it. And, you know, Jeremy and Scott are such, uh, they're gamers and you can just, you know, um, you can tell when people know what they're writing about, you know, and uh, and this was one of those cases. And I auditioned with Greg Grunberg, um, who plays Eugene in the movie. and. And the vibe was there, and and he just, like, I just knew going into it that it was going to be a fun, passionate cast with a lot of heart, and that's always the best thing you can hope for. And that's one cool thing about it, too, because everyone else seemed like they were very much into it. You, of course, got Kevin Smith thrown into the mix as well, who is the the consummate nerd and the, uh, the forefather of all that, too, so... Um, you know, did this get you more into gaming? Like, did you want to play more as you like, you're looking here, you know, you have the headset on your front, you yeah, know, yeah. Ma- we all had some- games in our trailers and we, you know, we, that's definitely like, and on other sets, it might be looked down upon to be gaming in between scenes, but on this movie, it was, I would say it was encouraged. <laughs> well, as it should be as well. I mean, that's the cool thing. I mean, you even talk to some of the big stars out there and they talk about the fact that they game on their computers and especially now the amount of gamers we're, ga- we're gaining from all the cool people who are usually too yeah. busy outdoors are now like, you know, part of this world now too. So I think that's, that's pretty fun too. Uh, speaking of, uh, of, of this man right here, uh, what was it? Uh, first of all, I gotta love the facial hair. I don't know what that, <laughs> yeah. the whole facial hair and then the guns and retro look. Um <laughs> <laughs> running away from from monsters and shooting uh, lasers or having a power glove on what was that like um i mean th- I-, I was really excited that i got to have the power glove and it was cool <laughs> you know like one of my favorite things that i wouldn't have been able to see when we were shooting it are how great the graphics and the special effects are you know it's like i'm shooting the power glove and i have to have like a kickback so it you know you can see that it's gone off and it's and like you know when i first saw it i was so amazed they did such an incredible job um with all the graphics and stuff so yeah it was just cool to get to have all those fun kind of toys and nerd out on it all and that's one of the things that i i enjoy about these kind of movies especially if you're doing retro you add in some kind of a demon as well um <laughs> yeah. so what what uh, what was the uh, you know th- this movie of course isn't like you know Spielberg Spielberg slash Pirates of the Caribbean where you walk into like a stage area that's all well, it's all blue just look at the tennis ball like what were some of the coaching tips that, that the guys gave you as you were going along? Yeah, I mean I think we had stunt guys and 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 some of the special effects people were there to give us and like kind of fill us in on what the world would be looking like. 
Um, and then other times we had sets that were close enough to, you know, you could still build the world. Um, right. But yeah, you know, sometimes it just takes some extra imagination. <laughs> I think so, too. Um, and I think the uh, the fun part about it was uh, your cast members, too, uh, all kind of played their own roles. Uh, so did you, when you got into it, did you feel like, are you a fan of 80s movies? Do you have like any of that recollection of like, you know, this was always like the the mom said, you can't do it, but I'm going to go to championships, kind of like 80s movies or <laughs> yeah. any of that, you know, I'm not going to pay attention to the girl, but the girl's going to pay attention to me kind of stuff. I mean, yeah. did you kind of have some of that thought process when they told you kind of how this movie kind of felt a little 80-ish? 80-ish? Totally, totally. I think there were some really classic tropes in there and uh, especially around like the romance thing. Um, but also, you know, it it's a love letter to nostalgia, like nostalgic gaming and stuff. And so I think, you know, just in just in the title sequence alone, you can see that this movie is that, you know, it's an, an ode to an older time of movies. No doubt. Uh, well, I would be remiss if, uh, you know, I, I didn't also talk about some other uh, family members of yours, specifically these lovely family members uh, here. Um, who I, what can I say? I've seen, I've seen all the episodes of the season all the way out. Oh, um, you have? I, I haven't I even have. seen that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw the final. I saw, I, I'm, I'm a happy camper. I saw it all. Trust me, I'm, I've talked to the guys and I'm, 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 I'm 100% in for it when it comes down to the show. Uh, although I, I will say one very important fact, and this is something that I talked to the guys about that needs to happen. We need Eugene in more costumes. It needs Amen. to happen. Amen. I believe that. whether he's in flames, whether he's a, a steak, whether he's whatever he's supposed to do, he needs to be in more costumes. As I told them, he's just a corgi that needs to be like covered up with love. I mean, it's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, Eugene Cordero, as is, like, I can barely keep a straight face when we're doing our stuff on set. But when you put that dude in a costume, it's game over. Like, some of us just have to leave so that he can do his part. <laughs> right. But the well, and, really good. The, uh, the physical comedy of this, in this show is so great, too. I even told them, you all need to be covered in that special uh, grease or lube again so I can see more physical oh comedy of those I mean, guys. thank God I was not in that scene, I know you though. weren't in that you were part of that that's too bad it would have been oh. weird if I was in it <laughs> that's true and they've done a good job about not made it, making it about comedy and not sexualizing because you're I mean you're essentially a daughter and so yeah. that's the thing that always kind of comes about one way or the other too so I think one uh, of no, the things I, that's really sweet on the show is that Kevin Heffernan who plays my dad he really does like think of me as a daughter and there have been times that he and Steve have gotten in fights because I'll like, I'll ad lib or say something that's kind of crass. And he, and Steve thinks it's the funniest thing in the world, but Kevin's like, no, 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 no. I don't want her to talk like that. And it's like, you know, he's like, she's not your real daughter. <laughs> so um, <laughs> it's very sweet. It's like, I feel like I have, a bonus dad and lots of fun uncles. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, no, I I uh, I, I agree, and it, and it feels that way too. Because even though you know you're you're part of the gang, they do protect you a little bit as well, which is very cool. Although yeah. you tend to get yourself in, uh, Lucy tends to get herself in a lot of her own troubles uh, moving yeah. forward, one way or the other. Uh, do you actually actually are you someone who watches the episodes? Or are you someone who can't watch themselves on TV? I mean. How does that work? Do you watch all the uh, Yellowstone, all Tacoma? I mean, are you that person? Or are you just like, no, I don't want to see myself kind of person? I definitely watch it, but I definitely cringe sometimes when I see myself. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> but um, no, but I, I'm so lucky that I'm like obsessed with everything I'm a part of right now. I'm so proud to be on all these shows that it's like, you know, I, I want to um, I want to watch them. I want to know what's going on. Even after reading right. it off the page, it's like, you know, once you see Yellowstone all put together or, you know, an episode of Tacoma, you can see, especially in comedy, how they edited it and what worked, what didn't. And um, I'm still in a place in my career where I can learn a lot from watching myself if I could just get over myself. <laughs> That's true enough. Well, and, and enjoying has to be part of it as well. Uh, I just imagine that a smile from 4 J Smith is warming no matter where it is. Like, if you look at that smile, <laughs> yeah. you can just kind of feel the warmth off of that. I mean, there, it, I, we've got a chance to talk to him in the past, and 
just a just a just a genuine nice guy. And, He's a real uh, deal, man. He's a real cowboy, and he really uh, walks the talk. Yeah, and it's funny too. There's a lot of uh, the way Taylor Sheridan writes. He he assumes you got the gist sometimes. Like he doesn't give you the answers. And so yeah. uh, you know, there's a lot of people who are still like, did Laramie and and Lloyd do something, or is he just a father figure kind of thing? I mean, <laughs> that's it, right? It's just it's just a father figure kind of thing, right? Is that kind of the idea, or? Did, did yeah, Taylor... I, think I think they like connected on a soul level, but you know, there, there is one scene where he like Jefferson's character, uh, Jimmy goes, did you? And he was like, she's 25. I need another barrel racer more than I need another hemorrhoid or something like that. Right. That the line. But, but he also, it seemed like you were in his bed when he was like, you go ahead and sleep in too on one of the other episodes as well. So uh, I was like, is that going against it or was it just an extra bed and she was in another bed or something like that? And so that's why there were people asking about that side too. So, uh, but I, I, I choose to believe the, uh, the, uh, the, the cool <laughs> kind of thing as well. Although it is the bunkhouse and, uh, and God knows there's a, a lot of weird things happening in there. So um, I, I'm sure with all the different people and you keep on, you know, adding more and more people in there too. And I know you've had so many talks already about Yellowstone today too. Uh, but, you know, being in Montana now, as, as opposed to like Utah or any of that, um, what's it feel like to be, you know, in this world, getting ready for this set, for this kind of, uh, you know, these kind of stories, you know, is it exciting to kind of uh, inch your way closer into this family? It's cool, man. Yeah. Like I grew up in Texas. I grew up around this cowboy culture and uh, I, I've been riding horses eight hours a day and roping and, you know, kind of uh, really leaning into the life. And I think being up here in Montana versus shooting in somewhere like Utah or on sound stages somewhere else, it's like, this is, um, you know, it's like actors say about being in costume and wardrobe. It just helps you live the part and, and, and have that feel really authentic inside of you. I, I 100% agree. And uh, we've actually had a chance to talk to a bunch of the cast about it. And um, I think it's just kind of once you get closer to the home feel of Montana as a whole, as well as you're shooting around, uh, not just Montana, but I think Missoula too. Are you out that way? Is, there, is I think there's yeah, yeah, there. yeah. Yeah. So there's a, there's a bunch of that going on. Uh, and uh, more importantly, uh, as uh, as Brando once said, like every actor should play a cowboy once, or uh, <laughs> to uh, because it's the American dream, right? That's what you're doing. You're kind of you're you're kind of showing off the American dream by being a cowboy. And so I kind of feel that's uh, that's along that line. Uh, well, you know, it seems like you're having a lot of fun, one way or the other, whether it's uh, you know on a horse, uh, on an engine, or um, I guess uh, riding around in a DeLorean. <laughs> uh, shooting off uh, lasers and blasters and things like that too. So as long as you're having fun, I think that's what matters most. I'm having uh, Max a lot reload. Of fun. Oh, as you should, as you should. I, I'm you should in, I'm in one of those little lucky streaks right now where it took me a long time <laughs> to get here, but like in this moment right now, I've got more blessings than I can say grace over, and I'm so grateful. Well, you know what? Just make sure everyone follows you, and then later on, if you're just like in. Uh, you know, a Reseda, uh, a Reseda show or a Pasadena uh, in-house playhouse show will come out to that too. We'll oh, make sure I that love that. Loved it, Thank you. Taken care of. If you want to do your own Valley Girl in Montana, let us know. We'll try to find a way to get to the Montana Civic Center to watch you. Watch oh, hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I was just talking to somebody else who was in Valley Girl, so that's why that's in my mind. Uh, of course, you can pull off. Uh, actually, do you... Uh, are you a singer person too? Like, are you a musical kind of person? Do you have that yeah, on I your resume? Sing. Yeah. I sing. <laughs> well, the only time we really focus on your voice is when you had a man's voice in Tacoma. So. Oh my God. That's got... one of my favorite episodes, by the way. <laughs> well, and I and wanted they... to like do my own like deep version of the voice. And they're like, no, no, we're going to do it post. I'm like, no, I've got one sorted out. Like trust. And they were like, if you do that, I did it for one scene, and they're like, if you do that for the next week, you won't be able to talk for probably a year. Um, so is I'm there, probably is there, a, is there a trick? Like you wake up, like exactly when you wake up, and then you have to <laughs> drink orange juice first and like nothing else, and like that you give like a couple registers below or something, or is it just something you, you, you've got that, that baritone hiding somewhere in Hassie? I, I can just stretch my voice pretty low. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome. That's good. 
Resume. That's what it's all about. Resume that as well. We're, we'll look for the next movie where you get a chance to play a bass, and we'll have some fun with that, too. So, <laughs> there you uh, go. Well, I, I want to thank you so much. This has been a lot of fun. And like I said, I hope you're having fun doing all this stuff. Uh, Tacoma season three, congratulations. That's going to be so much fun. Uh, it seems the, the more you, the more road you give these guys, the more they're going to go crazy and kind of create this stuff too. And more importantly, I feel like all the characters are, are kind of stretching out evenly. Like we get into Eugene and, uh, you know, uh, uh, Polanco, how do you say his name? Uh, what's, um, what's, what's, his, what's his Hawaiian name? Oh, uh, now, now I'm forgetting. <laughs> all right. Let's not, yeah, yeah. Let's not, let's just move away. Let's just say them and then Ike and all them too. We're kind of expanding all the stories. So it's a lot of fun there. Uh, Yellowstone is going to get crazier. And uh, the amount of like insane things that happen on that show in one episode, like I don't know what Indian burial ground they, they built on, but they have bad luck these last couple of years with all the things that are happening, but they're going to fight their way through. The Duttons are strong. Uh, and then of course, Max Reload, uh, a lot of fun out there for people. Uh, they need, uh, you know, more than just all the horrible news and quarantine. So I think Max Reload uh, will be a, a fun reprieve for all those people who get a chance to uh, check out this film. Aw, oh, thanks, man. I appreciate all the kind things. And My pleasure. I love that you know everything I've done recently. It means a lot. I'm, I'm flattered. I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I'm good at what I do, and I pay attention to what I do. Uh, and more importantly, I have fun with what I do, too. So that's the, that's the key. As long as you're having fun, it's never work, right? So that's Amen a call. to that. Yeah, well, uh, this is, of course, uh, Max Reload is the reason we talked to you first, of course, but all the other things, too. People need to check you out one way or the other. Um, Hassey, thank you so, so much. I hope you have an amazing day, and I hope Montana treats you great as well. Yeehaw. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. Have a good one. <laughs> you too. Bye. Bye.